we tend to think of a, a lot of physicians as either being uh, surgeons or people who do procedures uh, or those who don't and kind of give medical treatments or do evaluations. Vascular surgery is unique in that we do both all of the medical care for our patients as well as all of the interventions that are needed. So we're experts in both the uh, prevention uh, or limiting of the vascular disease uh, going forwards and then being able to intervene in a number of different and interesting ways. So it's, it's, uh, it's really made it a very interesting practice. A lot of the other disciplines within surgery focus on only one one thing, you know, do uh, bowel surgery every day or gallbladder surgery every day. Vascular surgeons do uh, work on every part of the body that's uh, outside of the heart and outside of the skull. So I get to care for the carotid arteries in the neck, I get to operate in the chest, in the belly, in the legs, um, and it's also uh, undergone an interesting evolution in the last 10 or 15 years where instead of just uh, major surgeries, which are are fascinating and they're very technically demanding. We've also learned how to do a lot of minimally invasive approaches so that now more than half of the work that I do is actually done, as you would think of uh, as a cardiologist doing it, through a needle stick approach or through a very small incision. So it's, it's both the breadth of technology that's been great and the type of patients that I get to care for have been, have been interesting. I have many patients now that I've been able to they have come back and see me over and over again for nearly 20 years, so I think they like the experience as much as anyone can enjoy having a, a circulation problem.